Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture here with one of the stars of WrestleMania weekend, Mr. Joey Ryan. Joey, how is WrestleMania weekend going for you so far? Uh, so far, so good. Um, I'm three shows in, this half a convention day so far. I got one more convention day and two shows left. So, you know, standard busy WrestleMania weekend. You really do make the most of these few days, I see. You know, you've got your, your penis party. As you said, you've been at all these events. Is this the your year? Um, it is because not only do I get to see a lot of the indie wrestlers that are my friends, but, you know, the WWE guys are in town, the NXT guys are in town. So, you know, I get a chance to maybe grab lunch with Candice one of these days, you know, or, or, or you know, something. And, uh, yeah, just it's like, a, you know, everybody's here. So it's kind of fun. It's uh, on a not just a professional level, but personal level. I was looking up uh, in my notes about you and realized... I realized that I'm looking right into the camera and I should be looking at you. Like, that's how these go. That's fine. Uh, I was looking up my notes for you and I realized you've done nearly 20 years in the industry. How does that feel? Because it's been gone through such a transformation. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I guess I don't really feel it. And, it, and it's, maybe that's a good thing. Um, Chris Dickinson once said to me like last year, he's like, you know what's great about you is, is you've been around forever, but you don't feel like a forever guy. So I guess that means that I'm able to stay fresh in some, some way, shape or form. Now, one of the most memorable things people will, will think of you for very recently, of course, was uh, well, AEW and All In, I should say, more specifically. Yeah. Uh, the penis druids. Yeah. Where did that come from? And, 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 and how, it was all people were talking about around All In. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, it was actually, uh, I think, uh, Cody and, and Matt and Nick, they, you know, they, they, they knew the, I was going to be there and we're going to do the thing with, with Hangman and they, you know, they wanted to do something special so they came up with the idea for the penis druids, which is great because what I found with this gimmick and this character is that a lot of people will have ideas for it. You know, if I wrestle somebody, they might have a different way to do it or get into it or, or exploit it, uh, which is cool because then the, the, like their creative juices are flowing too and I, it's not all relying on me. Uh, people, I, I find people enjoy it because they don't, it's something that they can't do in every match. Like it's very Joey Ryan specific. So, uh, I, you know, people get, people get excited when they're wrestling me or they're doing something with me. Now, the last time I spoke to you, we discussed uh, how you showcased the fact that indie wrestling is an alternative. Not everyone has to go to WWE and be a WWE guy. Uh, with the development of indie wrestling over the last few years and, of course, with the um, start of AEW, do you think it's a, a transformation time for the industry? I mean, there's definitely more work out there than maybe ever before, uh, like uh, profitable work. Um, yeah, I mean, the companies like AEW now, hopefully, you know, creating new destinations for wrestlers and, you know, hopefully sparking some competition from WWE so that way WWE feels more invested in their product and, and their product gets better. Then the whole industry grows uh, together, um, you know, and with, with the uh, social media and like, you know, the, the way the internet is these days. Indie wrestling has a bigger spotlight too. They don't need television if you've got a good uh, social media team, yeah. you know. Uh, so you know, so indie wrestling will continue to grow. But you know, everything you know, if WWE is the top of the industry, everything kind of trickles down for them. So when they're doing well, everybody else does well. So it's it, it'd be nice if you know some some of these other companies that are popping up create some competition. So WWE feels motivated to to do better with their product too. You mentioned uh, WWE there. I saw you tweeting about um, of WWE giving us the power, of course. Yeah. And then when a union has been suggested, they're not too pleased about that. What do you think about the the um, response to the uh, John Oliver's piece on WWE? Um, you know, it, 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 I thought the piece was great, and you know, like a lot, of, it connected with a lot of wrestlers in the industry. I'm obviously not with that company, but uh, you know, so I don't, you know, I, I just, you know, I have a lot of friends there, and mm. I would really love for them to be taken care of and it's maybe not necessarily a union specifically but healthcare would be nice you know um just i you know taking care of some of those guys you know um or and girls you know t so that they can live healthy li healthy productive lives um uh is nice and you know like again if 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 they set the standard of the industry what they do what they do trickles down so um you know the whole industry will be taken care of better i think if they showed more concern over their talent um but you know, it's it's an interesting question, and there's a lot of debate about it, which is which is good. And you know, be, being somebody who markets controversy, I thought I would chime in uh, mm. and, and and put my two cents in there. Uh, you wrestled Tessa Blanchard last night at Impact. Yeah. Do you think intergender wrestling could see a resurgence? We were seeing women, of course, main eventing WrestleMania this year. So opinions about women's wrestling has changed drastically over the last well five years in the WWE and everywhere else. Quite a lot more. I lean more to the theater mm -hmm. side. You know, it's it's there's in many media's in entertainment, uh, 
you know, there's there are female heroes, fe you know, female fighters that, that battle men. And I'm not just talking about like superhero genres, but you know, movies like Kill Bill or Atomic Blonde, where like the, the female lead is a strong character and can hold her own fighting men. Um, and, and I think that that transitions well. Uh, into the world of professional wrestling, but again, it's perspective. You know, you know, you know, you know. You wouldn't see an intergender MMA fight, you know, yeah. because of the distinct differences. But I think professional wrestling fans are are, are willing to buy into the ride as long as you can tell a complete uh, story without insulting their intelligence. So, you know, if I wrestle Tessa Blanchard, we're not going to you know punch it out, go go fist to fist. You know, we're going to still tell the story where she's going to use what she has that I don't you know speed agility to to leverage to get me into 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 her moves and stuff we can't just go out there and you know have a fist fight so it's all in the storytelling and it's just like any other uh media or any other wrestling style you know there's good versions and there's bad versions there's probably more bad versions than good but that could be said about any wrestling style um but if you're a good storyteller i think you can do intergender wrestling uh, this weekend uh, they are showing this is wrestling the joey ryan story all about yourself of course um how proud of you of, of that um it was you know, it was, it was really cool, and the timing of it was great. Uh, you know, it's, it's you know they've they've been producing it for uh, you know a little while now. So like, a lot of the stuff happened last year. Um, it, it, they got to focus on me and Candice, and Candice leaving to go to NXT. They got the stuff with McFoley that I did in, in um, Ireland. Uh, they got the the Cody Rhodes stuff with uh, in the cage match at the Cow Palace, and then the, the start of well the, the leading to All In, which is the start of AEW. So um, it was a good timing for them to do it, and you know, and I watched it, and I you know. And I thought it was, it was really cool. They they, told, they they took my story and, and made it into a compelling story to not just uh, wrestling fans, but the general population, which isn't easy to do when it's so penis centric, I guess. But you kind of forget because the way they, the way they tell stories that like it's just a thing that caught on and people loved it, and then you ran with it, and it's it it becomes like any other success story. You know, it it, it, it becomes like you you invest in the outcome. We put it off for too, too long now. You mentioned penis centric. You are doing penis photo ops here at WrestleMania weekend at WrestleCon, of course. Uh, how has the reaction been to that, and uh, how excited are you for, to see people's reactions to it? Well, I haven't seen the pre-sale numbers yet because uh, High Spots is putting it on. So, uh, so we'll see when I get when I get to do the, the, the photo ops how popular it is. Um, it did spark a lot of conversation, and uh, the hotel actually itself because they're not familiar with the wrestling industry and they were concerned they put up concern that i was just going to be there with be na naked and people were just going to be walking up grabbing my my penis for photos so i had to put out a disclaimer saying like <laughs> I, I mean i just said like no one's going to actually be touching my penis but uh but i should have been more specific because I'm, I'm just going to be wearing my wrestling gear i yes. just won't be naked um so we had to put out a disclaimer which i think is awesome and you know i i almost wish the hotel would shut it down because i think i would get more out of that like big conspiracy yeah. like they shut down the penis photos but I think it's going to go smooth. It's going to go well. But I'm just, I'm always like, a, uh, I'm always up for controversy, I guess. My favorite thing I saw of yours was you describing on Twitter your penis as a consummate professional. My penis remains professional at all times. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of concentration and a lot of work. It's actually not that bad. I mean, the wrestling mindset is a lot different than a romantic mindset. So it's not that difficult to, to, to keep it professional. Even when I, you know, I'm wrestling, you know, athletes and beautiful women. And it's, it's it, it, in my mind, it never triggers to change that to cross that line so um so yeah it, it it you know it's it is what it is and i've not had any issues yet you proposed during an intergender match i'm getting married later on this year what marriage advice would you give to me oh uh, <laughs> the hardest question of the weekend well make sure she's okay with it if people are going to be grabbing your penis all the time got it uh, it's very important that you have the support of your uh, better half. Uh, no, I mean, it, marriage is, it's always a work in progress. And I know that's a cliche thing to say, but you know, you, fi you find your balances and you, uh, you know, but it's a beautiful thing when it works. Uh, final question, we're asking everyone this uh, at WrestleCon. Um, of course, the Hulk Hogan movie is in production right now. If someone was gonna play Joey Ryan in a film about you, your life, who, who would it be? Man, uh, I get, most notably I get uh, compared to, as far as lookalikes, celebrity lookalikes go, to Rob Delaney, who was in Dead, Deadpool 2, people might know him as. Uh, but, it, you know, if you're going to start the story when I started, you know, maybe you're going to need someone a little bit younger. Um, gosh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I have to, have to think about it. But I do get to compare it to Rob Delaney a lot as far as looks. Yeah, I, think that's, I think that's a fair shot. And people can suggest in the comment section below who you think should play Joey Ryan in a film about his life. And what an eventful well film. Well transitioned. Well transitioned. What an eventful yeah, film. those YouTube comments. Indeed. Well, what an eventful film that would be. Uh, Joey Ryan, have a great WrestleMania weekend. Oh, a pleasure to chat to you. Thank you. Appreciate it.